By no means, sir. Time travels in diverse paces with diverse persons. I'll tell you who time trots with all, who time gallops with all, and who time stands still with all. I prithee, who doth he trot with all? Mary. He trots hard with a young maid between the contract of her marriage and the day it is solemnized. If the interim be but a seven notch, time's trot is so hard it seems the length of a seven year. <laughs> and who doth thee gallop with all? With a beef to the gallows, for though he go as softly as foot can fall, he thinks himself too soon there. <laughs> who stays it still with all? <laughs> with lawyers in the vacation, for they sleep from term to term, and then they perceive not how time moves. <laughs> Where dwell you, pretty youth? The shepherdess, my sister, and the skirts of the forest, and <laughs> my friend upon a petticoat. <laughs> Are you a native of this place? Your accent seems finer than something you could purchase in so removed a dwelling. I have been told so of many. <coughs> but indeed, an old religious uncle of mine taught me to speak, who in his youth was a man of court, one that knew courtship too well, for there he fell in love. I seek here a man who haunts the forest, who abuses our young plants with carving rosaline on their barks, hangs oaths on hawthorns and illogies on brambles, all oh, forsooth defying the name Rosalind. <laughs> if I could beat this fancy mongler, I would give him some good counsel, for he seems to have the fever of love upon him. <laughs> I am he that is so love-shaped. I prithee, tell me your remedy. I see none of my uncle's marks upon me. He taught me how to know a man in love, in which cages of rushes you are not prisoner. What were his marks? A lean cheek, which you have not. A blue eye and sunken, which you have not. An unquestionable spirit, which you have not. A being neglected, which you have not. Then, your home should be in garden, your bonnet unbanded, your sleeve undone, your shoe untied, and everything about you demonstrating a careless desolation. But you are no such man. You are rather point device in your accoutrements, as loving yourself than seeming the love of any other. Fair youth, I would I could make thee believe I love. Me believe it? You may as well make her that you love believe it. <laughs> 